Yeah, some dumpster treasures again. I found this uh, motor, which comes in a yellowish uh, casing. It looked like this when I found it, and I didn't find any meaningful information on it. Only this uh, flex volt, and what looks of it, 54 volt lithium battery plus another 54 volt battery. So I did some uh, search on this, and I think this is a from a DeVolt a flex volt, as it says here, miter saw. This big ones, you know, that you do like this. So only the motor part. We should connect two 54 volt uh, lithium batteries here, and you can actually connect it directly to the mains as well. So both battery driven and uh, mains driven. It looks like some kind of a brushless DC motor. Actually some kind of synchronous uh, motor actually. With some uh, good uh, permanent magnets in there. I rotate this, it's pretty hard to rotate it. So maybe we can do uh, something fun with the motor. Look here, we got two cables. This one looked like it was connected to something external like power. That's strange when we got a power connector here. But we will see when we take it apart. And this wire here, then we got some kind of uh, lights and some security or safety features. If you look here, we got some kind of converter block. Some the heat sinks here, more heat sinks, and uh, everything it like is like uh, potted in some kind of resin. We got these uh, wires going to the motor. This. Let's begin take it apart. So now we, everything is taken apart. Here's the stator. Here's the armature of the motor with the permanent magnets. And here we got two circuit boards, which is which are potted in the, the resin. This looks like some kind of a diac or some kind of Zener diode, which was loose in here. Maybe this comes from another uh, appliance because I don't think. This can get off that easily if they are potted like this. This the mains comes here directly to this circuit board. I've got some uh, capacitors here and a full bridge rectifier. At the sides here we got uh, three transistors on each. They can be some kind of IGBT or maybe MOSFET making a three-phase full bridge for the motor. And here on this circuit board, got some kind of a voltage converter. What's the looks of it, which is inductor here. Actually, we've got two inductors and some capacitors. I've got these control cables here, going to this circuit board. These are for the rotor, or yes, maybe the rotor positioning, because they were connected here. And in there we've got some hull sensors on that circuit board. So by that they can see the position of the rotor or the armature. And the batteries, battery connectors, goes directly here. And these two, they can be some kind of uh, on-off switch. Because they are connected to the same circuit board as well, in the same connector. And uh, here we got a fuse, which is uh, not very easy to replace if it blows. And yes, control cables here, and uh, here we got some uh, safety wires, or maybe for some uh, lightning. Here we got some information on that circuit board. It's not so old, it's from 2017. 
So I wonder what the fault was with this. Maybe they replaced uh, something. Or maybe not. Maybe something blue. I don't know what the problem was with this. But I think this circuit board is... Uh, this is not fault with this one, because I think something very bad happened here. Look at all this black stuff here. I think something blew down here. This is some kind of uh, battery management, because they are connected to these battery connectors. So maybe we can crack this open and see what's underneath this. This resin is kind of soft. Oh, look at that. Let's lift it up. Oh, there's a lot of darkness in here. I removed some of that resin and look at that, that's very blackened. So maybe I can cut around this like this, something. And maybe we can have a look at the circuit board and see what component blew. I managed to remove some of that uh, resin. And I found some components. This is a little resistor here. That's not blown. But I think there's a molten like a SMD transistor on this piece of resin here. That I really can't get off. It was somewhere here. You can see the pads here. These three connections. So I think that one blow. And like the whole thing exploded. Yes, now the motor is put back together. And now it runs pretty freely. Not so much resistance on that, but when I connect it to this uh, converter, it's much more harder to rotate that. So maybe we got a short circuit in this uh, as well. Yes, I think something is damaged. And here we can see the wires connected to the module. And the transistors, capacitors, and the full bridge rectifier. So yes, I connected the LED on the end of the wires between the two faces. And it lights up when I rotate it. Maybe not so much voltage at these low RPMs. But maybe I can have some... Uh, Rotary converter with this. Maybe we can put it on a bicycle and uh, generate electricity. Or maybe we can connect a uh, ESC to this and uh, make it a good uh, motor. These motors have a lot of torque, so it would be quite nice to do something. Yes, hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching.